Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's talk about this week ahead. For those of you guys who are brand new to the YouTube channel, this is how it works. So basically, what I'm doing now is I pull some cards and I pull some messages. I see what the overall energy of this week is gonna look like. Then I break it down into three piles as far as what we can expect for the beginning of the week, which is Monday through Wednesday. The middle of the week which is Wednesday through Friday and the end of the week which is Friday through Sunday so yes there is a little bit of an overlap but that's kind of how I like to work because energy doesn't really confine itself to our own human defined restrictions so we just kind of want that energy to flow this is what's been working for me this is what's been working for you so this is how we gonna do it oh mm. I don't know if you can tell but my coffee is kicking in the first thing that I am seeing and that I'm feeling for this week, as I was pulling the cards is, and it's not funny, but it's kind of funny, but you know when things are so bad, like sometimes you just kind of have to laugh about them or things are just so like messed up that you're like, all I can do right now is just kind of laugh and smile at this and shrug my shoulders and be like, say la vie. Um, that's kind of ultimately what I'm seeing here. Not that we're having a bad week or a bad time. Maybe you are, maybe you're getting dragged by Gemini, the sun moving through Gemini and all the energy that's going on with Mercury and Mars and, the, and Cancer being totally opposed by Saturn and Pluto, just shooting hand grenades at each other and like, where is it going? It's going into my feelings, it's going into my heart, it's going into my emotions. Unsensitive and vulnerable, stop messing with me. Like that's literally what the astrology charts have been looking like lately because of the current planets. Now again, I don't know if you guys are feeling it, but I've said this in my last video, which is about the full moon, which is uploading right now. For some reason, it's, go it's slow as molasses. Like normally it would take 30 minutes. This is now taking two hours and 41 minutes. It says two hours and 41 minutes remaining. And I'm like, are you serious? Why are we at 10%? Normally it takes about 30 minutes, but I don't know what's going on. It must be an internet thing. Everything is going so slow. But not me though. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little bit revved up. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, it's just, in my in my video, what I was talking about with the full moon, which is today, the Sagittarius full moon, at the time of me filming, you know, so much of us is getting put uh, put through the ringer, and myself included, I when the when the new moon happened in the side of Gemini, personally, for me, that's where I was like, okay, it's like, my inner demons were like, hey girl, remember me? Remember that, like, plaguing thought that you had in childhood? Yeah, here it is again. Like, what you gonna do with it? Like, I don't know, kill it. Kill it with fire. Can't. I gotta face it, I gotta express it, I gotta see it, I gotta experience it, I gotta journal it, I gotta process it, give it to my altar, give it to my ancestors and keep it moving. What we don't wanna do is throw them under the, the carpet and pretend like it doesn't exist. When that happens, we create bigger problems. The truth is, is that what is happening this week and what has been happening around us is essentially always for our growth. And you can call it spiritual growth, you can call it personal growth, whatever. But ultimately, it's for our growth and we have to trust. This is not something that happens overnight and we just wake up and we're like, oh my God, I'm a brand new me, look at me now. I am shining and I am golden. I don't know about you, but me personally, like I'll have like this revelation, I'll wake up and I'm like, oh, I'm brand new, can't stop me, won't stop me, this is where I'm at, these are my intentions. And it could last anywhere between one day, a few hours, to three days, maybe a week. A week is pushing it, but there, there's almost like a cycle to it. Why this is, is because this new mindset, this new life, this new you, it's not permanent yet because you have to, you have to cement it, you have to implement it, you have to turn it into a new lifestyle. Lifestyles and perspectives don't come overnight. They can, sometimes they do, like if you're going through a kundalini awakening or or there's like a life or death moment where you just, your life flashes before your eyes and you just realize like, okay, I have to do things totally different. But even then, when that happens, you're still vulnerable to kind of repeating the mistakes of the past. So what I'm seeing here is this progression, these things that are kind of unfolding, and that's what we're seeing this week. Now, this could be you and your personal spiritual growth. This could be a relationship, a career, whatever this is. But I'm seeing the beauty of it, but I'm really seeing the emphasis on the thorn, kind of like a rose. So you see the beauty of the rose, but a rose doesn't come just as a rose. Yes, the fragrance is there. Yes, the beauty is there. Yes, the fragility and the strength is there. But also, those thorns are there, and we can't ignore the fact that those things do exist. So what I'm seeing is that 
you want to kind of be gentle with those sides. You want to be gentle with that energy. You want to be gentle with the things that might hurt you, that might challenge you, that might prick you, because by being gentle with them, you will see the opportunity in them, and you will also see how they are there to protect you and to protect that thing, whatever that thing is. And this is all a part of our growth. This is all about our evolution. This is all about it's spiritual growth, it's personal growth, it's mental growth, intuitive growth, all of those things are happening here and you really have to trust this unfold, unfolding. There is a message here overarching this week and it's saying, be true to yourself. Who am I to my authentic core? I have to trust that that is enough. I have to trust that I am valid. Like my feelings, my experiences are valid. I have to trust that what is coming to me is there for me and that what I'm calling in is, there's a reason why I called it in. I have to trust that what isn't coming in is actually happening there for my own protection. God forbid you were to like see this bush. Let's say you see a bush of roses and you're like, damn, I want to jump into these bushes of ro this bush, this, these bushes of roses because they're so beautiful. They're so fragrant, fragrant. And I know this experience would be so amazing. Like, how could that hurt me? And the universe is like, don't do it. <laughs> you can see the beauty of it. You could smell it. You're attracted to it. You're getting called to it. But if you jump right now, those thorns are going to be the first thing that you feel. If you feel the softness of it and if you smell the fragrance, it's not going to last long because the thorns are going to rip you to shreds. So that's ultimately what I'm seeing here is like, look, if you are being anchored down if you kind of feel like you're being dragged, especially with this full moon that's happening today, and I say today because I'm filming this on Monday, but a lot of you guys are revisiting these videos and checking them out as the week goes along, and I totally encourage that. That's the design of how I'm doing these videos now so that you can check in midweek, late week, etc. But the universe is kind of well, the full moon is highlighting and bringing a lot of things to the surface, especially when it comes to our feelings and our emotions. And when that happens, when those feelings come up, I really want you to enjoy the fragrance of it, enjoy the beauty of it, and then also see the thorns as there for your own protection, for your protection, for their protection, and for the protection of whatever it is that needs to be protected. While I'm sitting here too, I have two yellow roses. Yellow, for some reason, is standing out to me right now. The reason why I'm thinking and what I'm feeling is because your intuition will tell you that there is more going on and this doesn't mean that you have to dig and find and seek because it will present itself. The opportunities will present itself and also I think that anything that you go looking for that you negatively are seeking, it's going to stop your own progress. It's going to stop your own progression. Woo! I just got a message. Okay. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Think about it. This card is so sensitive. He's so emotional. He's so vulnerable. That is his strength. That is his beauty. That is his brilliance. That is the beauty of Knight of Cups. But is he, when he's getting pulled by his heart, when he's getting pulled by love, there is nothing that can stop him. He is the strongest not the strongest, but he's very strong when he's getting pulled by his heart, when he's getting pulled by purpose. But if something defeats him, or if he finds out that the princess that he is going to, to, to win the heart of, or the prince that he's going to go win the heart of, if he finds out that that person is texting someone else, <laughs> another prince from another kingdom, or is he, they're getting pursued by another you know person, it would destroy him. He doesn't even stand a chance because he knows too much. And that's what I'm seeing here is that don't go looking for those thorns. The universe, just trust, just trust. Oh my God, wait, trust trust instead of looking for the rugged instead of looking for the, the the bad instead of looking for the hurt and the ache just trust what are you being attracted to what are you getting called to what are you getting pulled to allow yourself to be called by that and if you get derailed if you get anchored down if you get slowed down trust again that that is happening there for a reason there's a lot of um mermaid energy here too it's almost like the siren like you hear a call or you feel something or you're so attracted to it and you go to it intuitively if you feel a little ping like okay wait this is dangerous then that is because you don't want to be deceived you don't want to be disillusioned and then you kind of reroute or slow down or anchor yourself and wait for that storm to pass. That's what I'm seeing this week. It's all about instead of forcing it and, and pushing and, you know, keep paddling forward, like paddle faster. I hear banjos. Like we're going to get there. Like we're going to get there. There's marshmallows. There's people there. There's hot dogs. There's partying. We'll, we're we're going to get there. But right now, instead of us racing forward and collapsing this, this canoe, let's just kind of enjoy this moment. Look at the stars. Look at the reflection of the moon in the water. 
and stay present right now. That is what's going to make us strong. An emphasis, and I keep saying this because there's so many things. I'm sure you guys are so tired of hearing this message, but it stays the same. With Saturn retrograde and Pluto retrograde, you cannot force anything. I mean, we knew that from the jump, but these planets are heavy. These planets are stubborn. These planets are bigger than us, than our own power. And the way to work with them is to work with them, not against them. Don't fight. So instead of you trying to dominate, instead of you trying to force, instead of you trying to push or to manipulate or to control, you have to actually relinquish your control. You have to call in through intention. The universe knows what it is that you want. That's using your intellect for good versus for evil. That's when you start using your 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 intelligence in order to find things out or to dig and to dive and to manipulate or to control, that's intelligence used for ill, for bad. Or if you're using your intellect to control the outcome or to control yourself or to control your destiny, you are going to anchor yourself in a way that you cannot move forward. You have to get pulled by your heart in some ways and also trust that you getting pulled by your heart is there for a reason. It's for your growth. And then if you get slowed down, if you're getting called to slow down, that that also is there for a reason. So it's a lot more of going with the flow. Journaling is another thing too. Gemini energy is all about written and spoken word. So if you could write your feelings down, if you could document what's going on in your head, document your thoughts instead of verbally expressing them, there's a lot of pressure that's happening in the planets this week and it's because Mars and Mercury are together. They want to word vomit. They want to lash out. They want to react. They want to, and it all comes from their emotions. It comes from, ah, I'm vulnerable. Why did you do that? <laughs> you scared me. So it's like that's that energy that's going on there and Pluto and Saturn are sitting on the opposite being like just being like hold your tongue like don't say anything don't like don't react yet because if you do it's um you know it'll just you'll you'll look back and you'll be like oh my god and we're walking into eclipse season you guys you think this is intense wait till we get to eclipse season that's when things really will start popping off and i've been waiting there are a few times last this month, it's June. There are a few times this month where I'm like, whoa, I'm about to pop off. And then I just am like, eclipse, wait for the eclipses. Let the universe pop pop things off for you. I, I That's where I'm at right now. Anyways, so at the start of this week, Monday through Wednesday, right, there's transformation, there's healing, there's working together. Okay, there is this space that I'm getting of like annoying, plaguing seduction. How can seduction be bad? It can't. I mean, it can. But it's not that it's bad. It's just that it almost feels like when someone like has something good in front of them and they're like, that's good. That's really great. I've been working on this, but that looks good too. And then you being like, Doot, like you going over here again, remember that siren song we were talking about earlier intuitively, you know, that if I go to that thing, whatever it is that's seducing me, it's going to put this at risk. Yeah. It's attractive. Yeah. It's pulling me to it, but there might be more thorns on that rose than you bargained for. I don't know who needs to hear that or what, what what that was about, but it's just you really truly want to be careful because there's you. What is it that you're focusing on, focusing on? What is it that you're healing? Intuitively, you know to invest your energy. Intuitively, you know to keep working on that and to build that. That's a home for you. That's security for you. Don't get enticed by the fluff. Some of you guys, this is about your work. Your work, your career is undergoing a major transformation. You cannot afford to stay out Monday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, partying with your friends, doing the most. You can't afford it. You can't. You need to be grinding because your career right now is undergoing a major transformation. This is not light Oh, you know, it'll just be, well, I'll be out for a night. No, every time, every decision you make has a consequence. So you want those consequences to be something that is beneficial to you and not detrimental to you. That's all I'm going to say. Same thing with your relationships, same thing with your health. And I need to hear myself say that because this coffee right here was a decision that is that I made. Shout out to Spitfire Coffee that's on, um, shout out to Spitfire Coffee that's in New Orleans. 
They are my ride or die when it comes to iced coffee. You guys have seen me talk about it before on my Instagram. Phenomenal. But every time I drink coffee, I, I know that there's a sacrifice that's being made. If I want to be hydrated, I should not be drinking coffee. So I have a jug of water that I drink afterwards in, to flush out my system, but it's a choice that it is that I'm making. That's just full disclosure for me. I don't know if you guys resonate with that. Maybe someone does, maybe someone doesn't. But there's something here that is that you're working to heal, to transform, that is for your home, for your security, for your safety, for your stability. And if you are seduced by small, tiny things, you don't even realize those small choices, they make a huge impact. They make a huge impact. There's something that you need to be working on Monday through Wednesday. Do not get distracted. Do not get derailed. The full moon in Sagittarius is bringing things to, to the forefront and then whatever is getting brought to the forefront is going to be the center of our, of our focus all of July it's gonna be like BAM 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 so all this all this that's coming into your face make sure it's good make sure it's a blessing make sure it's abundance not okay well punishment because you didn't do what you're supposed to do you knew that you were supposed to do this now it's gonna collapse now you get this bad news now you can't pay your rent now you lost you know you're stressed out now like it's like a, a a chain of a chain of events so focus on what is healing focus on what needs your attention do not get distracted by seduction do not get distracted by short-term pleasure the, the 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 impact of it is too great does that mean like does that make sense like the loss the this the, the decisions that you make even a small decision is a major decision I'm telling you a, a, a family of mice can take down an entire house one termite is all it takes to take down an entire house and there whatever it is that's going on for you your career your work and you know what it is like as soon as I said it you're like okay I know what just talking about whatever it is it's undergoing a major transformation and you cannot afford to get distracted right now and get seduced by some bullshit Pardon my French. Now, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. This is total expression. This is total creation. This is total, this is me. I am enough. I am creating. I am abundant. I am, I love this. I love you. I love this moment. I love that plane. I love my plant. I love my Yanni steams that are getting shipped out. I love my friend. This is, if I love this, I'm not going to destroy it. <laughs> Like there is a message right there. If I if I choose you and if I love you, there is nothing that I'm going to do to hurt you because I choose you. The same thing is true that for you. Like you should be saying that to yourself. I choose you. I heart you. This is if that's the case, then everything I say, everything I do is going to be a reflection of the love that it is that I feel in my heart. My decisions to myself, my choice to be artistically expressive, my choice to invest in my art, my choice to express myself, my choice to, to share my heart. My love for you is bigger than my ego. My love for this is bigger than my fear. That is what I choose. This is enough. I choose this. I am enough. Why? Because I am it. I am divine. This is divine. This is worth it. This is for me. So because of that, I will create. Because of that, I will speak on it. Because I will speak out on it. Because of that, I will express. That's what I'm seeing um, Wednesday through Friday. This, this is my truth. This is who I am to my core. I am a person of integrity. And for that reason, I will express my art. I will express my heart. I will express my love. I will express my joy. I will talk about my fear, but I will not allow, allow my fear to stop me because that is not who I am. That is a part of what it is that I am feeling, but that is not all of who I am. So because that's not all of who I am, I don't allow it to dictate my future. I don't allow it to dictate where I'm going, where I'm headed, the decisions that is that I make. I have courage. And we talked about that in the full moon video. If you did not see the full moon video, then definitely go back and revisit it. Even though the full moon might have passed or you're watching this now, meaning like in the start of the week or whenever in the future, go back and revisit that because it's really talking a lot about our courage and the hoops and the fire that it is that you have to kind of jump through. Even if you are fearful, like you being bold, you being assertive, you having being courageous, it's not always loud. Sometimes it's quiet. Sometimes it's a quiet, no. Sometimes it's a quiet, yes. Sometimes it's a quiet, I love you. Sometimes it's a quiet, I choose you. Sometimes it's a quiet, here's my resume. You know what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes you being courageous is not this like outward like display. 
Sometimes it's very subtle. Sometimes it's very quiet, but it makes a difference. I'm seeing letters going. I'm seeing news coming, information coming that brings in the truth of what someone is. Be, be um, honest with your word. What is it that you're feeling? Integrity means that what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, my intention matches my words and matches my action. So if I love you will know. If I want, you will know. If I'm doing this, you will know because you see it and you hear it. Sorry guys, I'm not sure what happened there, but moving on to Friday through Sunday, I just wanna be honest with you guys. I want to speak into existence that the obstacle within, with, in front of you is completely destroyed. I wanna speak, well I wanna adjust this, speaking of obstacles, right? This camera is an obstacle right now. But I wanna speak into existence that the opposition, the illness, the loss, the trouble, the challenge, the barrier, the blockage. I want to speak into existence that this is completely destroyed. I don't want a lightning bolt to come into your life and shock, shock you to the point. I just feel like people are tired right now. I'm freaking tired. I mean, I'm restoring my energy right now, but that's kind of where I'm at in my personal life. But I just want to see that these old generational things, this old curse, this old thing, this old repeating pattern, let it be done. Let it be done. That's what it is that I want to speak over all of us. With the full moon in Sagittarius, I want to speak that, you know, this, whatever, what ends is the obstacle. What ends is the opposition. What ends is the blockage. That's what I speak over all of us right now. Not the end of our love. Not the end of our vitality. Not the end of us being reborn. I'm. Just, how many of you guys have given and given and given and given and done so much and you're like, what the Frig, like what, what? I'm trying to stop cursing, but it's not easy. I just wanna speak, I do see this, you know, this shock come in and I'm just calling it in right now that whatever this shock is, whatever this death is, let it be the opposition, let it be the mountain, let it be the, the thing that's been stopping me, the thing that's been blocking me. That's what I want to be released here. I want you guys also to have vitality, to have health, to have strength. This old cycle, Yo, that's, what's, that's what needs to be sh shot out. That's what needs to be destroyed. And now we're stepping into the longevity. Now we're stepping into generational blessings. Now we're stepping into generational love. Now we're stepping into union. This is what I love. Guide me. Um, take, take, take my hand and guide me. Show me where it is that I need to go. This is not me fighting, fighting, fighting all the time. This is me receiving. This is me being in a space of receiving. I actually pulled that card earlier, recept receptivity. I always have a tr trouble saying that word. Of course I do. And the word peace. Why, why is that so powerful? Why? Because in order to have, in order to receive, you actually have to have peace. You know what I mean? Because if you're in conflict, you can't receive because you're fighting. Mm, that is a message all by itself. And I just see so much energy. Do you see this? This is like bing, bang, boom. Like I've got guns blazed. Like I have to defend myself. I have to protect myself. I've been doing this for a long time. I bet you have, but I need to speak into all of our, over all, all, I need to speak over all of our lives that the opposition, the obstacle is what is getting destroyed completely and utterly, totally removed and now now it's safe. It's been safe, but I just want to see renewal. I want to see new ideas. I want to see new projects. I want to see new conditions. I want to see growth. I want to see fertility, abundance. It's just coming in. We're stepping into, um, you know, the summer solstice where, you know, it's just the energy is just shifting now. Things should be getting born. Things should be getting created. Things should be soft and, and fun and, and light and loving and playful. And there should be love. So that's what it is that I'm seeing towards the end of this week. And that's what it is that I want to call in. There is, a, of course, a little potential for disruption here. And I just think it's a lot of the battle that's going on in the stars right now. But I just want to call in and say that this, you know, tension is not directed towards you. It's directed moved to the obstacle and that's where the energy gets destroyed not your spirit not your faith not your creativity and in the meantime i want you to take care of your body because there's two cards here that are talking about the physical body the physical and we have the body show me divine how to fully and how to love and fully care for this body please give me the radiant miracle emphasis on miracle of accepting my body as it is but i also see you channeling that energy in creating health and vitality for yourself a new life so that's what it is that i'm seeing oh i did not talk about the obstacles let's talk about the obstacles what is that it's working against us so the first thing that i'm seeing 
okay, is that what you see and how you see it is not always reality. It's just how you see it right now. So I think you need to be careful about who you're listening to, what you're watching, what you're seeing, because it's not ulti it's not a true representation. I'm also seeing distance. I don't know why, but it seems like there's a separation. Maybe you're separated from someone or separated from something or separated from yourself. Maybe you're bored. That's another thing too. I think what's I think some of you guys are really restless and you're wanting to move and you're wanting to explore and that's where this activity is kind of coming from. So there's that, or maybe something that you like is a, is bored and there's activity there. So there's kind of restlessness, restlessness there and you're like, what are you doing? What's going on? That's Maybe that's why there needs to be space because it needs to be separate so that it can ground itself, so that it can center itself. It has nothing to do with you and you're kind of like waiting and watching. This can be a little problematic for love relationships because it's like, what are you doing? What's up? What are you, who are you talking to? But again, you can't control these types of things. The other thing that I'm seeing is you actually, if it's not relationships, I see you guys getting out and intermingling and talking, networking, conversation. But again, be very careful about who and what you're saying things to and how you're saying them. There just seems to be the potential for miscommunication or someone that you see or someone that you talk to is not exactly who they are. Hmm. And activity around the home environment. There might be conversations around the home environment. So I see this as an obstacle. I, I mean, that's what it is. It's, it's considered an obstacle. I think for some of you guys, you know, I, this, I think this might actually go into what it was that I was saying before, which is don't get distracted by the t -t 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 don't get distracted by what everybody else is doing. I actually see you being hyper focused on the home and creating your security because again, we're, you're undergoing a major transformation within your life. So when it comes to your career and your stability, your home, your love life and that type of stuff. So if you're getting distracted by the, this, these other things and these outside forces and all, whoops, sorry, my kimono got stuck. But if you're getting distracted by all these outside forces, then you're kind of slowing things down, creating more of a problem. That's what it is that I see. Let me read this to you. You can learn to rest in what you already have and already are. Suddenly remember, I'm resting here and I'm resting in God. I'm resting with God. Then we have the house card saying, your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. And it's just weird. This obstacle to me or this problem I see it as, look, there's like a restlessness, there's a ch um, chitter chatter, there's talk going on in the home environment. What type of talk? What type of conversation? What type of dialogue? That would be interesting to see and it's like you're looking for it and it's just not what it is that it seems to be. And I think that you just need to focus on, again, your stability. You need to focus on your security, not what others are doing, what others, what's happening around you. Focus on the here and now, right here. Don't look too far into the future, just stay right here in the present, at least for this week. I mean, we should be practicing that regardless. What's working for us this week? Our intention, calling things in, being clear, letting go. There's masculine energy here too. And I don't see this as just like a man. I see this as, I know what I want. This makes sense because the challenge was the restlessness. And the strength is the clarity, the I'm gonna stay here, I'm gonna stay still. I'm gonna stay in this moment. Anything that ends, anything that is locked away from me, I'm not even gonna try and pry it open, fine. I brought to you my truth, I brought to you what it is that I want, I'm clear on my intention, I'm clear with my communication, you know what it is that I stand, and for that, I'm not gonna budge. Prove yourself to me, show yourself. Someone is going to, um, someone is going to, the contentment showed up twice actually, huh. I'm seeing holding on to life. What does that mean? Holding on to life, holding on, oh my God, in the past life here. Okay, there's something, there's a message there. I see life. What gives me life? What am I, oh my God, it's like double. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm like seeing this for the first time. This is like, I'm holding on to life. Why am I holding on to life? This is past life. This is what's destined for me. This is what I'm building. This is what I'm protecting. This is what I'm protecting. This is what I'm holding. This is what I'm valuing. I don't need to force it. I don't need to fight it. If it's off limits to me, then it's off limits. It's there for my protection. I gave my truth. I spoke my intention. And for that, I will create. I see creation. I'm seeing um, creation. We have to look into the Ankh. We, 
maybe the ankh meat has special meaning for you and symbolism for you. There's something safe, there's something protected, there's something guarded here that's being unlocked, that's being opened, and that is your treasure, that is your treasure. Call that into, call that into existence, set your intention, know, be clear, be firm, but not uh, forcing your will, but be firm and speak into the universe. And Egyptian, Egyptian magic, that's another thing too that's coming through. All right, you guys, so that's what it is that I'm seeing this week. My camera's about to die. I just happened to look up and see that. Speaking of life, right? And rebirth and vitality. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be like, this is going to inspire me. I'm going to have to meditate on that message alone, and hopefully there will be another message that, that comes through. But make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel. Let me know what is that you're pulling. What is your intuition telling you? What are you feeling? Because that can help the collective as well. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Loving you so much. Bye.